Hey, Tim Sykes here, and this is a pretty cool day. Um, just found out I am on the front page of news.com in Australia uh, with this article called Goodbye Haters, How I Made Million from Just 15,000. Um, I'll post the link to this story just below this video. For those of you guys asking me, the 15,000 is because it's this is an Australian article, so it's not a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio with U.S. dollars versus Australian dollars. They also said that I made six million dollars, which is you know roughly five million dollars in U.S. dollars. So some people are like literally freaking out. They're like, they have your numbers wrong, Tim. No, it's just a different country, and they have a different dollars than Americans. Um, but here is the article. Uh, you know, tricks to getting rich while traveling, which is basically what I do. Um, you know, it's it's not just about the money. Uh, a big thing of what I try to teach you guys is that you can do this from anywhere. I would not trade my freedom for anything. If you said, Tim, you could make $20 million more and you would just have to stay in New York all the time, I would say no, no deal. Um, I absolutely love traveling. A lot of you guys ask me, you know, how do I get all my energy? It's because I love what I do. Uh, I didn't always know how much I love traveling, to tell you the truth. You know, it's kind of a weird, uh, you know, passion. I know some people say, oh, they like traveling. Like, I really like traveling. Like, I am obsessed. Um, so I'm proud to share these tricks. It's not really tricks. It's more of a strategy with expensive cars, beautiful women, and wads of cash everywhere. Um, you know, this writer... Uh, really focus on my Instagram account. Um, for those of you asking me questions about Instagram, why am I such a douchebag on it? Again, this is all motivation for you guys. Um, I am a teacher, okay? Uh, I want more millionaire students. And unlike other teachers, I am willing to do what it takes to inspire you, not just teach you, okay? Because I found that it doesn't matter how much I teach or how hard I teach, if you have the wrong attitude, if you have the wrong mindset, it won't go anywhere, okay? So my Instagram account exists solely to inspire current students and frankly to help me find new students, you know? Um, if you want piles of cash on your bed, if you want uh, to make <laughs> videos like this where you can tell your haters to fuck off, uh, if you want to go to the Philippines and bring your laptop and sit on a waterfall, um, or, you know, charter a jet and bring your McLaren right up to it, uh, or go to Mexico or hold $100,000 in cash in your hands. All of this stuff uh, is designed to get you guys to study more. And frankly, it works. Uh, my latest millionaire student, uh, Stephen Ducks, found me because he liked my Lamborghini on Instagram. Let's not forget that, okay? And now he studies 10, 12, sometimes 15 hours a day where he is motivated because he wanted my Lamborghini. Now he actually has his own McLaren. Um, so these photos and videos, this is like, you know, your, I don't know, uh, what's it called? A, a, a goal board, not a goal board. Um, shoot, what is it called? Hold up, let me pause this. I have to Google. What is this called? This is annoying. It's called a vision board. I had to Google it. My mind went blank. Um, I'm not that smart, okay? I am an average freaking person. And that's what you guys have to understand. Um, I'm not trying to, to boost my ego. It's already big enough. Um, I'm trying to show you that this life can be yours. And so use this, all of this stuff, as a vision board. Um, and I have fun doing it too, you know? I'm not just making a vision board for you. It's also, uh, I like to look back and I'm like, haha, remember when I went into the hot tub in Mexico City with my robe on? Um, I'll actually post a video for Mexico City because uh, for me it's not just having fun in these places it's also giving back I travel and actually help the communities in Mexico City I didn't just go and stay at the St. Regis and you know sit in the the spa all day I, I went to the spa I had my swim I had my photo shoot I had fun but I was also there with the great charity called Save the Children which I've now donated uh, nearly two hundred thousand dollars to they help kids um, all over the world. So I like to give back. Notice how the reporter does not feature any of my charity, okay? This is also what I've learned. A lot of you guys are asking me, like, why don't they feature your charity more? I don't control these reporters, okay? They can choose to use whatever photos they want. I mean, you read this whole article. I'll post the link just below this video. Um, but I'm not in control 
of reporters. I'm not in control of press. Um, and I'm not in control of what motivates you guys. You know, my charity stuff is the least liked, least shared content on all my major, you know, social media networks. Okay. So I'm not trying to change human nature. I share my cars. I share my cash. I share my teachings and I share my charitable givings all out there for you guys to, you know, do whatever you want with. If you want to hate on it, that's fine. If you want to like it, that's cool. If you want to get inspired by it, well, that's my goal. But you can do whatever you want with the content that I throw out there. Don't feel bad if you get inspired by my Lamborghini and not by, you know, a diseased town that I go to in Africa every now and then. Um, don't ever feel bad about anything that pushes you, that pushes you to study, that pushes you to work, that pushes you to focus on yourself and your own dreams, okay? I value selfishness. I know it sounds weird because I'm like kind of this charity guy, but I have studied extensively charity and being selfish and money and giving back and traveling and happiness and freedom and working for others and working for yourself and, you know, how to really push yourself, how to really, uh, you know, increase your own performance. This is what I do, okay? So my Instagram photos are not an accident. It's not like, oh, does Tim realize he's being a douchebag? I don't care about looking like a douchebag. Look at exhibits A through G of me on so many different reality shows. I'm secure enough with who I am. It doesn't bother me if you think I'm a douchebag. That's fine. Several of my top students think I'm a douchebag online, but they also know me offline. You don't know me offline because frankly, I don't have enough time for everybody who wants to know me offline. My online success has brought me a lot of fans and it's cool, but I'm not interested in just fans. Um, I'm more interested in creating successful students. So this whole article talks a little bit about that, but you know, I think the reporter also, uh, featured my my Instagram photos mostly. I mean, she contacted me through Instagram. There's one stock chart. <laughs> There's one stock chart, HMNY, which is a classic supernova. Um, you know, so I'm getting all these questions about this video and I just kind of want to try to answer it. Uh, a, my social media exists to inspire students and B, to, you know, get new students, get dedicated students who don't just want hot stock picks but they actually want lasting, sustainable, self-sufficient wealth. And that's going to take a lot of studying with my DVDs, webinars, video lessons, blog posts, commentary, watch lists, trade alerts, websites, software. I do a lot to help you learn. Uh, but, you know, this shouldn't just be me laughing on a bed like this. This should be you too, filled with your own cash. Um, secondly, I will always travel. Um, that is what drives me me personally and me personally might be different from you um, so don't feel like you have to travel okay uh, the world is very free and we are all very different part of the thing that i've learned from traveling all over the world um, is that we all have different personalities and it's okay um, there's no right or wrong there's no one magic personality um, i will tell you that the more open uh, you are to new ideas and the more adventurous and uh you know inquisitive you are about the world i think that you'll have more success but if you want to stay in one room and you know you just like trading and you just want to sit on a computer all day that's fine i have students like that too but i'm showing you my life um and i'm showing you kind of what i think will help inspire you to study hard. So if you get offended by, you know, the girls who are my friends in life, um, you know, some people are like, oh, you pay these girls. I don't pay any of these girls anything, okay? They're my friends and we go on trips. Um, this Ferrari, I mean, this was just fun. Putting cash on my bed is fun. I like to have fun. So I'm gonna have fun with my social media. I'm gonna have fun with my life. I'm gonna have fun teaching. Um, and hopefully, you know, I can help you understand that I'm real in an industry full of frauds. If you hate me, then I've got two fingers for you. Um, I've got a special gift for you right here. Uh, I don't care about haters. That's another thing. Some of you guys are messaging me like, Tim, these articles are just going to create more haters. I care about you. 
I don't fucking care if I have haters. You have to remember my first millionaire student was also my first hater. Um, a lot of people forget this. Then they say, oh, Tim, why do you even respond to haters? Because every hater could be my next millionaire student. I am very open about the hate, the love, the misinformation, the real information. Um, you know, I'm trying to just get it all out there. And I wish that it was more simple. I wish that these answers were easier to explain. But they're not, you know. My business is weird. Uh, my teaching methods are weird. But my success personally, and now, you know, as teacher to several millionaire students with several more on their way, I'm excited. Uh, we actually have a few new students who are getting close to crossing a million dollars. And also a lot of students in the six figures. And even if you haven't made six or seven figures, it doesn't mean that you're unsuccessful. You know, guess what? Most of my top students start with a few thousand dollars. So it takes time. Some of my best, hottest students right now are just making a few thousand dollars a month. And that's fine, okay? We all start somewhere. So don't feel like you have to get a Ferrari right away and you have to get a million dollars in cash. This is stuff that I show you that I've worked for two decades for, okay? You're catching me after two decades. And there have been ups, there have been downs. Um, you know, I was too cocky for a little bit. I invested a third of my hedge fund into a small company that went bankrupt. I became the laughing stock of the hedge fund world for that one investment, even though my hedge fund finished up overall because my trading has always been profitable year in, year out. But I've screwed up. I've had successes. I've tried to go bigger with my strategy. I realized that I'm actually better at trading with a small account, you know. Uh, yesterday I didn't make any trades. The day before I made roughly three grand. The day before I made like six hundred. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, Tim, that's terrible as a millionaire." You know, making six hundred in a day or three thousand or not trading. That's what I've been doing for two decades, um, and it's kind of tough to accept that. You know, in Wall Street, I mean, this is a game where you want to try to make as much money as possible and you want to try to manage as much money as possible and you want as much respect as possible and you know those are things that I'm just not interested in um, it's it's strange I wouldn't have expected it you know if you asked me when I was younger I would have wanted the Wall Street respect I would have wanted the big accounts I would have wanted to make as much money as possible but you get older and you learn more about who you are and what really fulfills you. And for me, as I said, I love traveling, I love teaching, I love my charity, but what I really love is the fact that I have really scaled in and, and figured out, you know, dialed in and figured out what I'm good at, which is trading with a small account and showing you guys how to trade with a small account and showing you how to grow that, you know, small account. Um, it is not what I expected. It's not what most people expect. And it's not what, as far as I know, any other millionaire in the world does. There's a lot of people who claim to teach, but they're not even self-made millionaires. Ask them to show every single trade, not just screenshots. Ask them to show income tax returns and audits publicly like I do, and they don't do it. So it's kind of cool to be real in an industry full of frauds. Um, and I'll explain this till I'm blue in the face. You know, a lot of what you see on social media, I can't explain. I mean, this is a 15 minute video and Instagram limits, you know, my videos to one minute and these photos, you know, I, I put like a little paragraph that describes the place or what I'm feeling that day or some lesson about life. I mean, social media is very, very, um, succinct and some of the best lessons are a little more, you know, they're a little deeper. Um, so I make videos like this, but I want you to try to understand my situation because my situation is very unique and everything that I've done over the past two decades has now brought me to this place where I think that I can help you. Um, it doesn't matter if you know nothing about the stock market. You know, I teach very, very basic stuff. Steven Ducks, my newest millionaire student, knew nothing about the markets before I started training him. Tim Grittani knew a little bit, but you know, not much. He actually lost his first $1,500 before restarting with $1,500. Now he's closing in on six million. Michael Good, my first millionaire student and first hater, you know, had made $100,000 in the markets before he met me, but he also lost the $100,000 because he didn't know about timing. So I helped him with that. So I wanna help you. 
And, you know, this article, while it's some of the photos are laughable, you know, if you read it, it's actually pretty good. And, you know, it's all about me sharing my tricks, which is what I want to do. So let me know if you want to learn my tricks. Uh, leave a comment underneath this video saying, I want to learn your tricks. How many words is that? I want to learn your tricks. Six words. And let's see who really wants it, you know? Only leave the comment if you actually want to learn my tricks. Because to actually do this, you're going to have to study. It's not just about getting hot stock picks. Um, anyways, hopefully, I think that answers most of the questions that I've gotten from this article already. We'll see if I get more. But I'm very proud. Thank you, news.com.au uh, for featuring me. And to all my new Australian fans, goodbye, mates.